in trade, you talk about having other, other vocational courses that you need to do in high school uh, with, alongside, I mean, alongside their, their own, the, the, the normal things. Don't you think that's going to be boggy and people might run away actually from school? People will not run away, I'll tell you what, because first thing, from the very vocational skills, you're not going to do everything. Mm -hmm. So they might introduce it from the initial stage and you will choose what you want to do. Okay. You might choose probably I want to do carpentry and machinery. So at least you probably die. You can choose one I want to do soap making okay. or, or, or I want to go into soap making and tie and die. I want to do tailoring and hairdressing. So you will pick from you, like an elective system, you know, you choose what you want to do from the bureau of vocational skills mm -hmm. that you have available. So based on that, for the first two years, they might like allow you to do all so that you will actually find where you fit. Okay. Because sometimes when you introduce everything as a whole, you have to look and see, okay, get a feel of everything, then you know what you want to do. By the time you get into ninth, ninth grade to 12th grade, you have already selected one of them that you're comfortable with, mm. and you can just perfect yourself in that for four years. Okay. You can't tell me that you'll learn carpentry for four years, and after you graduate from high school, you'll just sit down in your community waiting for somebody to employ you. Employ you or soap making or hairdressing or tailoring. Okay. You will even start making your own money from right, right from high school. Right. Okay. But then you you, you, create, you, are, you become self-employed and gradually will build a middle class system. Well, um, one would say yes, say it perfectly, but then uh, putting it I mean, to work is another thing. Another thing you are, you are, I, I have a uh, couple, I mean, a few days been following you, involved with uh, developmental issues. I see that you came up with this uh, project in your district. Why are you doing it? The first time I went to that community, the 12th Street, Frederick Island, and Matadi, you know, there's an island between the two big communities, 12th Street and Matadi, mm -hmm. Frederick Island. I walked there to see a friend, and walking on the bridge for the first time, I said, I don't think this should be in Monrovia for a fact. Okay. Walk on the 12th Street side, cross, walk on the other side towards Matadi. I said, I don't think Monrovia should look at this. I think you probably you saw it on television. Mm -hmm. And you just look at that and tell me that no, that is a capital city. That is first, no, I, just want to, I want to draw that first. I come to work my point. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. Then there were questions asked. How come nobody from higher authority have been here to see these to things? See these things. Okay. And uh, there were various comments made. Oh, the first wave we never even had it here for some years. At least until, yeah, yeah. until maybe the. The Bosco group, mm -hmm. Gallus Judge came and did portion, mm -hmm. and we had concern worldwide also doing some of these pillows and having the planks. Mm -hmm. Later on, the president went there also and contributed some planks to make it a, make it a better place. Okay. Then I want to look at it and say, okay, I think if we have gone to this level, I think we need to even change some of these things. And what about our lawmaker? Our district development fund. Yeah. Where are some of these things been going? And they said, Oh, we were there. we were promised some time ago for the for past three years that this project will have been better than this since three years and we have not moved okay. for an inch. So I said, Okay. What can the community do for themselves since the government is not coming in to do it? That's the first question I asked them. Okay. As I said, if it is for us, it has to be by us. That's a message that I love to send down to people. I, I, I almost thought that, you know, the name, uh, when they say FUBI, uh, like the first time I seen it, I, like, I wonder if you wanted to name yourself FUBI for us by us. <laughs> and was that just a, a, a part of it? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So if it is for us, it has to be by us. So mm -hmm. that's the thing I said. I said, so what can you guys do to change? your own life because you guys walk on this every day, morning to evening, go to school, go to market, go to church, go to program, go to go and play games, 
go to other functions, go to work, you come back in the evening, go, the water level rises at a certain time. There are other places where you have makeshift toilets over the water. People yeah. toilet in the same water that you walk in. Sometimes the water level rises to a certain level, you step in the same toilet that you, the toilet that you are putting that you step in and you pass. Yeah. You have to take off your trousers or hold your trousers so and walk in it. It, it has become become a way of life. A now. way of life. Okay. I said, what can you guys do to change this? So I said, you guys decide. Let me know. I will go out and see how I can share this idea with other people. I don't think that we should have this kind of situation in this country at this time, in this age. So I took pictures of what I, what I was there, and then I left. I went back after a month, and I saw the community. They said, okay, we have decided to turn this into a concrete. concrete. Instead of just having the planks uh, shaking, and you have somebody, only one plank, or only one person to pass at a time. Yeah. I said, okay, you want to turn it into concrete. So what can you do to turn it into concrete? We have taxed everybody in the community $10, $10 US at the end of the month mm -hmm. so that we can start doing something. So gotcha. even we can take it step by step every now and say, okay, I said, now you guys are talking. Since you guys are willing to push yourself, okay. then I think I will help in raising some of the resources to get it done. So I will definitely tell you guys, take care of the workmanship for now and give me an estimate of some of the material that you need to start it, to get it started, so that at least we can create the attention. So we'll start the project and every now and then we'll look for some fun to keep pushing it until we can see how long it will take us to end it. So let us just, we shouldn't do a very big budget for now that when you take to somebody will scare them. So that give me something small that we can share, and that every time we okay. we carry this up, so mm -hmm. we need another one to go another step, we we'll raise another budget to see how we can do it. So we we'll do it bit by bit. Let's say every month or so, we see how we make progress. Okay. So the first budget we will raise about eight thousand something, and I was about to talk to a few friends and few businesses that I had contacts with. And we're able to raise out of the 8,400, we're able to raise close to 5,000 into kickstart kick project. the project. And that's how we want to launch it. So thanks to my guy, William DeWatt, Seti Brother, and MOTC for contributing towards the project. And now you see it has already started and we are making some progress. And we, as I said, there's not so much of the money involved, mm -hmm. but we want to send a message out that if you are given the opportunity to lead people, okay. you must seek their interests. That's my own, that's my point. Okay. I can give you more opportunity. I surrender six years of my life to you to go and lead me, make decisions for me, improve my life. Then you expect me to come to your door every Saturday to beg you for henna. I don't need to see you as my president, as my no, lawmaker, you, as my you, senator. You, you are part of this district, and I'm sure uh, whether you've been any part of our town hall meetings to discuss uh, as to how the, uh, uh, the uh, funds for that district can be disbursed or used. I mean, no, I've not been aware of those meetings, so those meetings. because of that, I'm not part of any of them. Okay. So, but I've been hearing, you no, know, we. This was allotted for this project. And then this was allotted for this bridge, project. That bridge been there since rock of ages. Been there. Well, you know, Liberia is a place that uh, we have gotten used to the wrong thing so much that we, the moment you changed it, it'd be like, nah, you're trying to bring something else. But the reason why I ask the question about you involving yourself with the developmental pro projects is that in Liberia, when it comes to the young people, People complain that the young people are so violent, you know, they are so quick to destroy things. And now you are involved with the building. What do you think is the problem? Because I'm saying that perhaps one of these days something will happen in that district and the first thing will go to to start breaking the bridge down. What do you think of the young people? No, the, first are so thing, the first thing I told the community, that's why I said the community is responsible for the workmanship. Mm -hmm. We're raising the material costs okay. on a bit-by-bit basis. And 